installing the Armor Concepts uh, door armor application. This includes the door shield, the jam shield, and the hinge shield. Uh, simply put, what was convenient about this installation was how everything got lined up, excuse me, with existing hardware locations. So the jam is installed right here. You're actually taking off uh, your original hardware and positioning this over it. You can see here that it's it's flush with the door frame. You do want to have about a quarter to two quarters uh, in terms of the coin size uh, thickness to allow for the application to go and it to be flush without impeding the uh, the door from opening and closing. You have to excuse that backlight. It does have different modules that are easy to pop out to allow access to your points where your deadbolt may be positioned. Jumping over here is the hinge guards, or the hinge shield, excuse me. Again, this follows uh, in line with existing locations. So we're taking out the two screws of where the original hinge plate was, and we're just putting the shield over it on the two bottom hinges on the door. So that's just reinforcing. Uh, it's got about a, uh, excuse me, it's a three and a half inch screw uh, with the T20 Torx bit that's going into place. And that's on both the top, or excuse me, the middle, as well as the bottom location. So installation without interruption, without the kids was probably, I don't know what you'd say, maybe uh, five, 10 minutes entirely. And then it also has the door shield right here, which again is very non-invasive. Just goes on the door, giving clearance for the deadbolt and for the latch. So if we did need to remove it for any reason, um, again, that's easily removed. It's not visually uh, compromising the aesthetic. And then in terms of how it looks when everything's you know closed, again, uh, it's a little more than obviously what was there before. The jam shield does run along this pathway about two to three feet in its entirety. And then obviously you're seeing the door shields there, but because you can select the color that you prefer, and in this case we went with nickel, it's actually not that aesthetically uh, displeasing. It doesn't really interrupt the flow much. I mean, the fact that they have some kind of bronzes hinges there is the only thing if I was to do it over again, which would be nice to have a match. But again, these were the hinges that were here when we got the house. So uh, preferably I'd love to do a kick test, <laughs> but uh, I don't wanna compromise the door. Uh, there's the kit in its entirety. Probably took me, uh, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, but again, that's with some interruptions from the littles along the way. The other thing I wanted to show real quick is the original hardware. So here are our original guards. And here's actually the hardware when I took them off that were in place in the door. This is where uh, the deadbolt was right here. So the deadbolt had this hardware, keep it in a place, obviously with the new jam shield being steel, uh, two to three feet with spaced hardware and then a three and a half inch screw. So just the hardware alone is, is a, a stark contrast to what was there before. Um, not to mention the real estate that now this plate is going a good three feet, reinforcing itself into the, uh, the studs. Or Last but not least, um, the tools I was using was a number two Phillips screw, uh, again, to remove the original hardware. And then the T20, uh, one's actually provided with the with the kit itself. So it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Uh, I think it was $90, $98 on Amazon. 20 minutes of my time.